I went to switch the light on in the bathroom. I'd better switch in my bedroom. And I leaned over to push the, the light switch. Leaned on something soft. I got a big uh, duvet parked by the switch. Put my hand on it, obviously nothing solid, so I slipped and down I went. <coughs> I didn't hurt myself, but I just couldn't get to the emergency pull cord. You know, I've had three terrible falls now in the last six months where I tore open his leg and they couldn't stop the bleeding and I ended up in Morriston Hospital. Then I had another fall coming through the gates here and landed on my face and there's still bruising on my face where I hurt myself very badly. And then about two months ago, three months ago, I fell in my kitchen and uh, these are bad falls now, not the little ones. And I was with my son, but I blacked out and went flying and hit myself against the trolley there. And I um, broke three ribs. I had one fall in the bathroom and I'm naked. And most of the staff are female anyway. And I mean, there is still some personal pride left in me. But to have to call a woman up to, you know, to say, you know, I'm lying here naked, wringing wet on a bathroom floor. How the hell can I get up? And there's basically very little that you could get hold of. My legs don't feel safe anymore. And I'm frightened now to go out into the kitchen or into my bathroom. It's frustrated, it's embarrassing, and it's damned inconvenient. With the Thousand Lights Collaborative has allowed us as an organisation to have many more opportunities and link up with people. Now, what the staff feel, they're able to assist the residents in remaining independent and looking to be proactive. Since Dave's been going to the collaborative, we have made a, seen a difference. With the Falls database, you've only got to click on it and you, it's just in front of you and you can see how many times they've fallen in a short time and it's quicker. That we can put steps into place that can help and prevent that from happening as regularly as perhaps it might have if we hadn't have been doing this Thousand Lives Collaborative initiative in the first place. Since we've been logging and we've put risk assessments in place where we'll go up, look at the flat, see where we can minimise the risk and go through it with the tenant, you can see a pattern and straight away you, you think you, you need to go down and chat with the tenant and see if there's anything you can sort of help them with the GP. I've been to the falls twice. The most marvellous thing about the falls is that you are one-to-one -one with a nurse all day. The main difference is that should I fall, it doesn't matter where I am in the building, they can get to me very quickly. Well, after I'd been there 10 weeks, I had to go through these 10 things again with them, and they said they wanted to tell me something exciting. So I said, oh, great. I said, what's that? Well, when you come in, you had one out of 30 for doing gym, and you're the only person we've ever had here that's gone out with 29 out of 30. We felt it's a very good example for us to get involved and be able to provide better services. We can keep our eye on who's falling, how many times, and it's, I think it's much, much better. I think it's a good thing. It's all about providing holistic service, not us providing a service in isolation, but us providing the service in tandem with all the appropriate services that you'd expect.